What's up, Posterity? November 10th, good morning. And I'm editing yesterday's video, getting ready to post it right now. Today is Sunday, not a lot going on, so I'm not sure what you're gonna get to see today. But every day is an adventure, right? So let's see if we can make today an interesting one. In our family, the kids do the dishes. I'm not saying it's efficient, I'm just saying it's effective. Noelle made coffee, and now she's making our morning, Sunday morning vegan pancakes, yum. Noelle made the batter, and now I'm making the actual pancakes. Why? Because it's the funnest part. It's a good thing I wasn't in charge of organizing the books, because if I were, then it would be something crazy, like all of the books about a certain subject would be together in one place. But this is awesome, see? You have all the yellow books, and then you have all the kind of red and white books. And then you have all the kind of tannish books. You get that? And the books that are dominated mostly by white. See that? And so what happens is you end up with really nice looking combinations of books. You know, yeah, I mean, you have to memorize where the different books are with the different topics. You have to memorize all that. So it's not maybe the most efficient way to find a book. But man, does that look good. That's all I'm going to say about that. It's it looks amazing. <laughs> Behind me are the shelves with all the books and decorations on it. I've been working on this all morning. Um, and I finally, uh -huh. Uh -huh. I finally have, have it done. No, it's not all done. It's just, I have it. by the way, just what I've got so far. <laughs> if Noelle won't even be in the video, she can't stop me from saying that I was the one who did all this. See? I did all this and it looks amazing. The truth is that she did it all. It's kind of cool because it turns out that video blogging has another benefit and that is when I say I'm going to do something on camera, I actually feel more motivated to do it. Somebody just showed up at the front door, but look what I did. I posted this on eBay, okay? It's the first, first time I posted something on eBay in years. I'm very excited, let's see if it actually sells. Taking the kids to Walmart to go get some snacks so that they have snacks for during the movie. And actually we have a guest with us today. Hi. This is Danny, he's my nephew. And my cousin. And he's taller than I am, which nephews should never be taller than their uncles. It's been suggested that the boss was at large because each new ruler of the city wanted to stamp his authority on the bill. Obviously, dinners are a big deal to me. They're a very big deal around here. It's one of my main responsibilities, so I take them very seriously. And uh, let me show you how easy it is to make the dinner that I'm doing tonight. So you start with a saute pan and some vegetables. I'm just using frozen stir-fry vegetables, this kind of thing right here. So you get it in a bag, frozen, pop it into the pan, no big deal. In addition, I'm going to put little chunks of wheat meat or fake meat in there. It's called seitan cubed. It's basically wheat protein. So if you're somebody that's not into gluten, if you can't have gluten, don't do this. This is like all gluten all the time, I think. So, but it is vegan. And also I'm putting in these Kashmiri, Kashmiri curry sauces. It's Indian simmer sauce. This stuff is delicious. I'm using two bottles. These are about five bucks each from Sprouts. And between all the vegetables and the seitan and those two bottles, this will be enough for a couple different meals. So it'll be dinner tonight and maybe lunch tomorrow. So it's not super, it's not a lot to spend on something that's Pretty easy to cook and also quite delicious. I just introduced you to one of my secret big tricks when it comes to doing dinners. This is something I like to do because it's delicious, it's fast, it's easy. And uh, you know, who wants to spend their Sunday night cooking all night, right? So this is a nice solution for that. Okay, so this is crazy, but we're heading, we were heading north on the 101 on our way to go meet some friends for dinner Sunday night, November 10th. And uh, while we're on the 101 heading north, some guy's weaving in and out of traffic and he just totally ran into the side of our van. And so we were in a little minor car accident. Noel and I are both fine, just shaken up. But I can't believe this happened. I mean, the guy was driving like a maniac. So we called 911. We didn't get his license plate, unfortunately. Didn't even figure out what kind of car he was in. I was just trying to get off the 202 or get off the 101. The police are on their way, they should be. Uh, but apparently somebody else saw him do it, called 911 and gave the license plate. So I think they're probably going to try to track the dude down. Dude, lady, whatever. Uh, but look what they did to our van. Let me, turn on, uh, let me turn on the flashlight here so you can see. Look at this. Uh, crunched, crunched the side of the van here around the wheel. Crunched big time all along the side. They ran into the whole side of our van. They just smashed right into us. Yep. 
Freaky. Glad we're not injured.